I'm a four year senior here. Woo! And Woo! <laughs> okay, uh, my testimony is about how I found God. So, the way I found God, I should start with how I lost him. I grew up in a very religious household, went to church every Saturday. We, I did Sabbath school, the ceremony, uh, the lunch, Bible study, and occasionally hikes. And that led to, you know, I was like, started to question, why do I do what my family wants me to do? Because I had no, I didn't think I had a reason. Because I was like, why do I read the Bible? I don't have a physical image of God. I don't hear God. So that's when I started going away from God. I was homeschooled from kindergarten all the way to fifth grade. And in fifth grade, my mom got sick. And she didn't die. She didn't die. But she got really sick. And that's when I stopped going to church. Stopped doing my Bible studies. Stopped doing uh, worship with my grandparents every night. And then in middle school, I became a very bad boy. I started doing very bad things that a middle schooler should not have done. I'm not going to say anything, but you guys can get an image. It was nothing hardcore. It was nothing hardcore. It was just, you know. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. Uh, hung around the wrong group of people, did bad things. And then I came here to Campion, continued to do bad things. You can ask Dean Dubini. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out. <laughs> and, but at the end of my freshman year, my, my parents got divorced. And I was, parents divorced. I'm happy they got divorced because now they have, ha they're happier. I know they're happier. They're more religious now. And not love, not all love is meant to be. And going to Campion here, I didn't really, I didn't really appreciate what my parents spent for me to come here. And I was not happy, I guess because the rules, you know, but I did love Dubini because, you know, our night talks. <laughs> Long night talks. <laughs> and, uh, my junior year, at the end of last year, God showed me, he gave me a blessing in my life. It's a gift that I, it impacted my life. And you know it's impactful when it doesn't just impact you, it impacts everybody around you. Your friends, your family, everybody who don't know, but you know, it impacts you. And that's something I will forever hold dear to God because he helped me come back. So uh, during the summer, I started going back to church, started reading the Bible, started, you know, hanging out with my grandparents again because they were really religious and I, I ran away from them. So that's what leads me to like here, appreciating this place because Campion Academy gives us Bible class. And juniors will learn hopefully about Revelation it may be a difficult, uh, di difficult uh, chapter in the Bible to understand, but it definitely gives you a, a new understanding about God and His character. And today I went to the Loveland Church where Pastor Joe Martin was preaching his game to Rome. And in Rome 8.28 Rome 8, it says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, them who are called according to his purpose. God knew it was time for me to come back. Mm. God knew that I was troubled because I started getting a lot of fights with my dad. Not a lot of good fights because sometimes I wouldn't even stay at his house. And God knew that it was time for him to call me back to his will, to his plan. And here I am. Amen. My testimony. Amen. Wonderful people. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my testimony. Thank you. All right. Well, will you pray for us? Will you pray? Yes. There. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this opportunity.
Thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for the opportunity to go to the mountains to see your creation. Please give all these students the motivation to go through this next week of school and energy to get through their homework and the seniors on senior survival mm. and show them that your will is working in mm. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.